Well, greetings, everybody. Joseph, um, creator, inventor of the Green Mountain Gold Trap, the Easy Clean Out, the three foot riverbed hog, and the 23 inch pay streak finder. Just wanted to come in here real quick before we start this video and apologize. I don't know, I've lost three sales in the last three days um, as a result of, well, to be quite honest, my ignorance. Um, setting up a website today is much more simplified because you can drag and drop stuff and you know it's not uh, all HTML code and coding and whatever all that you know I whatever I, I couldn't do that um, but anyway regardless it's still kind of complex so I made some mistakes in the shipping end of things so when I did a test, I, I got this message saying, you know, some items in your cart can't be shipped to your address. Please choose a different address. So I contacted tech support and we got it straightened out now. I removed the um, flat rate shipping because it just it wasn't going to be fair to my customers. Um, but that's the only way I knew how to set it up at the time. So I've got that all straightened out. It's through Indicia now, USPS, and also by weight in case somebody were to order more than one or four or five. That would be nice. Go ahead, put four or five in the in your cart. I, I welcome you. <laughs> but anyway, so um, if by chance um, one or two or three of you who um, ended up having to abandon your cart because of my ignorance, um, please feel free to come back and and you should be able to place your order now. So I welcome you all to the channel and I thank you. Please subscribe, comment, um, check out the store, greenmountaingoldtrap.com and uh, enjoy the video. Take care. about 56 degrees, 100% chance of rain, but um, Kevin Adowski, the first buyer of the three foot long riverbed hog, Green Mountain Gold Trap Easy Clean Out, he's gonna be heading this way from New Hampshire today. He just called me and he's just leaving, so he'll be here about three. But I'm gonna get some video footage for everybody so you can see how these things work. Kevin's gonna help me shoot video. And uh, you'll also get his take on what he thinks of his. So when we get set up and when he gets here, we'll shoot some video. Take care. So I just wanted to shoot video here. Yeehaw. This is a different river. The one we're going to be working in dumps into this one. But it's, as I suspected, with the warmer weather, snow melting, and of course rain on top of it. Water's going to be a bit high today. So it should be kind of interesting. I'll de definitely get enough uh, flow to run the traps. Of course, I can make that happen in a good river anyway. But so this this ought to be this ought to be interesting. That'd be real interesting. All right, I'm gonna keep driving. I'm almost got about another five miles to go. Well, I've just about made it to where we're headed. And wouldn't you know it, the rain started coming down again just as I got on this road. Quite a bit more snow out here than where I've come from. Where I'm coming from, everything's pretty much melted except for snow banks. And the river's a bit high, just as I suspected, of course. 
lot of ice. But we'll see what we can do. At least get you guys to see what this thing can do and hopefully maybe get into some gold. I have thought about bringing some just so I could show you just in case, you know, salt the dirt so you can see. But uh, hopefully this road is plowed as far as Kevin says that they plow it. Because I need to get to at least that point. But I'm about, I'm about there, like I said, so we shall see. Get back to you shortly. Well, this is not exactly what I had in mind. I got all the way down there to the point where they stopped plowing and realized I wasn't going to be able to turn around down there so I figured I'd back up and I got down into this little edge of the road here <laughs> yeehaw and all I have is my little prospecting shovel so I'm digging trying to get myself out nice <laughs> Yeehaw. And Kevin's not going to be here for about another hour and a half. So hopefully between the two of us or maybe I can get it out, I don't know. But this is not the shoveling I had in mind. I wanted to shovel in the river. So here I go. Woo! <laughs> I'm trudging through snow that's just about up to my knees. Yeehaw. And there's some mighty big pieces of ice coming down the river up in here. And this is really where I wanted to go. But, well, wait a minute here. And I'm sure some more ice will come traveling down. Here comes a piece now. I'd hate to get this thing set up and get it knocked out by a big hunk of ice. I'm not about to try to go fetch it. But that's all bedrock right down there. Nice little whirlpool. Be a good place to hit when water's not so high. Any gold going over there that's going to get trapped right in that whirlpool. So I think I'm going to back up, backtrack, and I didn't get the van out. I shoveled everything, so hopefully when Kevin here gets here, he can get the van out. I'd hate to have to spend the winter here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to backtrack. Carrying my gold trap over my shoulder, shovel in a bucket. All right, I've already hiked quite a way, so I'll get back, back to the road, try the other side of the road. Well, thanks to Kevin, I'm out. <laughs> I'm back down the road, um, so I'm going to have to back out of here, but I've, I've checked all kinds of places in the river here, and there's just nowhere to dig. Um, up there, way up river is where I shot the ice coming down. And I've tried down in here, I walked down and tried different spots. It's just not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Underneath all that slush on the on the edge of the river is a layer of ice. You can't even get down to any gravels. So I guess we're just not gonna not gonna be able to do it, right, Kev? Guess not. <laughs> so not quite what I was expecting. But he's got a nice tent with a a nice little wood stove and everything, so he'll stay warm. I said, I doubt you're going to be turning around going back. He says, no, I'm here. I'm camping. <laughs> so he's sticking around. But beautiful, though. What do you think of this, David and John, all my fellow prospectors? Of course, John, he's got, it, it's cold there, but I don't, I don't know as if you get a lot of snow. Um, this, is, this is how it is for us. But that's some pretty, pretty fast moving water. And that rock over there, last time we were here, Kevin actually stood that up in the river. And that's, it's got to be another two, three feet 
down before you see the bottom of it. It's a lot taller than that. But anyway, it was fun getting out here, just didn't get to do any digging. I dug into some ice, but I couldn't find the gravel. But anyway. No golden ice. No, no, no golden ice. <laughs> All right, so, sorry folks. Couldn't, uh, I guess we're just gonna have to wait till spring to get some good footage of, of the Green Mountain Gold Trap, the Riverbed Hog and the uh, Pay Streak Finder working for you. But that's just how it goes. I'll talk to y'all later. This Mother Nature decides to thaw it out. Yeah. Nice head-on view. We just went down and, well, Kevin shoveled his area out where he's going to camp. I watched. <laughs> All right. That's where we were digging last time. He was up there where that rock is. And I was down in here. No going. Not going to happen. There's a bunch of bedrock over on this side. You can't even see it. Huh. All right, I think this is the last clip, the last shooting. Now, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to Kevin's channel. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> and visit the store, GreenMountainGoldTrap.com. Take care. The ice dam let go, folks. Hey, uh, look what I didn't think of. What's that? Will that rise? I hope not. Um, me too. That's pretty cool. So I'm glad we're not out there working in it when it came down through. Wow, huh? This is nothing in the spring. I've never seen it in person. This is the most I've seen. But I've seen video on YouTube of uh, ice off in the spring. And it's just massive. So I guess I wasn't done shooting yet, folks. Huh. Kevin's tent with a stove. Pretty cool. Probably can't see it in there. Stove pipe. Works pretty good. Parked way up there. Well, I hope the water don't rise while he's in, in sleeping. That would suck. See what it looks like from the other side of the bridge. Yeah, seems to be moving a bit faster now. Ha! That rock got knocked down.
right. Now maybe it's uh, take care, talk to you later, I don't know. Might be something else exciting happen before I leave. I've got one final announcement. There's going to be an addition to GreenMountainGoldTrap.com. I've got a friend, Kevin. Um, he's been in some of my older videos. Um, he's a great friend of mine, great prospecting friend. Um, he can't really prospect much anymore, but he was a rock hound before he got into prospecting, and he's really, really good at it. He's quite knowledgeable. But he now has um, Panner Kev's River Rock, Vermont River Rock Pendants. And he, I've, I've offered to put some of them on the website. So probably by, I'd say by Wednesday, what's today? Today's the 13th, Saturday. So by the 17th of this month, 2018, January, um, I'll have those on the website as well. And he does some really, really fine work. I'm going to go take some pictures of his product at the place where he has a booth set up take some nice pictures and get them put up on the website for you guys to take a look at and buy them as gifts or buy them for yourself and I think you'll enjoy them. Take care. That's it.